What's up guys, today we're in the Wix mobile editor and we're going to be talking about changing your background color on your mobile website. So if you're in your editor and you want to get to the mobile um, options, you just want to come up here and click mobile so you can edit your site on mobile and any changes you make here won't transfer to desktop, it'll just only be on the mobile version. Um, so if we come here to a place with a background, so you can see I have these images here, if I come to my background and click that, we'll get the option to change background. Um, so I'm going to click that and you'll see we get a color and image option and the video option is disabled for mobile. Um, so if you want to you can pick a color um, if you just want to change a color or you can go ahead and choose an image. So color is pretty self-explanatory so I'm going to go ahead and choose an image for you guys to see um, some other options you can go with. Um, so if I click that, you can go to settings up at the top and you'll see we have some different options. So first things first, we can change the opacity and that's just how visible something is. So if I um, decrease this to 5, you can see it sort of disappears and as I increase it, it um, comes back. But we'll leave that at 100. You can also change the color that's behind the image. So if I change this one to like a light blue, you can see the light blue will show through. Um, and depending on the image, sometimes it won't be uh, very visible. Um, but like if you have a image like this, where some of the background is transparent, you can choose a different color you'd like. So really I could choose anything here and it'd be visible, but I'm gonna stick with white because I think that looks pretty good. Now over here at scroll effects, you can have none. Um, which basically means that as you scroll, the wallpaper scrolls with you. But if you choose freeze, as you scroll, the background will stay put. So if I click off of here and start scrolling, you can see if you just follow one of these little X's, they will not move, they just stay in place. Um, so that's an option. If we go back to settings, if you click none and just start scrolling, you can see the pattern follows or the image follows as you scroll. Um, now you also have an option of how to scale it. So tile just repeats the pattern, which works for something like this that is seamless. So you can't tell that it um, that this isn't one big image. It it looks like one big image, but um, it blends well together. But if you had something like these trees, let's say, and we go to settings, and this was set to tile, you'd be able to see the different creases. Um, in different lines like right here you can see that this ends um, so you can play around with different options when it comes to that if I go back to this you'll um, be able to see like fit will just fit it to um, that section you're working in stretch will stretch it to fit you can see with this one it gets a little blurry um, and then fill will just fill the whole thing with it um, so for the one I'm using right now obviously tile looks the best so we're gonna stick with that and then our final option is where the image is positioned. So for this one, if I go down the left side here, you'll notice there's not big of that much of a change because it's tiled, so that doesn't really matter. But if I go to the middle here, you'll see it will line things up a little better, and that will be the same throughout. And then if I go to the right, it'll be lined more sort towards the right. And that's because the end of the image is right here, so it lines that up right there. But if I do it in the middle, it lines it up down the center so we get these X's or this pattern actually visible and not cut off on the edges, which is probably what I would do in this scenario. And that's basically how you add a mobile background. If you want to come in and edit it, you just do the same thing, click and change background. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one.